What's up YouTube? I just wanted to do a quick video here. I've had a couple people ask for a bus tour type vlog. Uh, the bus isn't uh, showcase ready, but uh, this is real life. We like to do things organically here, trying to stage the perfect shot too often if you catch my drift. But this is a 1993 Bluebird Ford bus. It's got a Cummins diesel B6 engine in it. Uh, there's like 360,000, 375,000 kilometers on the whole unit, but the engine was rebuilt maybe like 70,000 kilometers ago, and there was a brand new transmission transmission put in there as well. So I'm going to climb up onto the roof and show you the top, the outside first. Um, we have a little battery compartment there. Uh, but yeah, this is it. She's not pretty, but you can see we have lots of things on the roof. Okay, here's our three solar panels. We got a skylight there. This is the AC unit that's plugged in separately from the other batteries for external air conditioning and heat. Chimney, we got a fridge, fridge vent. Here's our uh, composting toilet vent. And this is my uh, very DIY wooden roof rack. Um, maybe we won't look at that too closely. Another skylight back here. We're here at beautiful Loon Lake, and Courtney's enjoying her morning there. This is kind of what Courtney likes to do best. And the kids are out there catching minnows and playing by the water already. Daddy, you caught a crayfish. You caught a crayfish too? Yeah. Tonight? A small one? Yeah. Oh my God. Wow, <laughs> it's October 2nd and we're still camping. What do you think, hon? Sunshine and a lake. You happy here? Yes. Okay, here's the rig from the side. You can see it's not pretty on the outside. We kind of like it this way. And uh, I'll just walk you through a little bit here. You have a broom to try to keep the entranceway clean. Little shoe rack when we first come in. This is kind of my domain. Uh, you can see my shorts there again, real life. Stuff's not ready. A couple baskets. These magnet things are awesome for storage. We have a little fire starter thing there. A couple feathers we've collected. But yeah, this is the cockpit. This is where all the uh, adventure action happens. Uh, when we're not driving, there's tons of hooks here for extra um, sweaters and jackets. But when I'm driving, I take those down. So that's that. Nice little shelf here with some books, some storage, some baskets. Again, it's really simple. But generally, inside is pretty nice. It's, we're talking backsplash kitchen. We got a wood stove back there. The embers from this morning are, are just dying down. It's pretty awesome. Uh, Addy is still in a car seat here. It works out pretty good. And, uh, you know, they colored this morning. Uh, found this out of a, a, a shuttle bus seat. Put that in here. I didn't do this whole renovation. It was already done. The conversion was done, but I had to reno the conversion because it was a couple. You can see it did some dishes this morning. We have a nice three burner stove here, propane, you know, gar garbage can under the sink. Let's turn some lights on here. There we go. Kitchen light here. It's pretty good. Look at that view. Oh yeah, dirty windows. <laughs> Um, yeah, we keep a little bit of fruit here and that's kind of it. This is our wood, wood stuff. I mean, it's a lot of effort. I usually, I, we tra travel with a lot of these down by the steps. Um, and then I bring them up here, uh, or bring them outside to chop. This takes the chill off. It is October 2nd. So it's nice to have a little fire. Um, we got a, a typical RV type freezer and fridge. Oh yeah. When we drive, sometimes stuff falls out, but. There we go. And this is a little firewall. I mean, this is, this is um, you know, a nice firewall. Obviously, we can hang stuff here to dry. You know, it's, uh, this never gets too hot to touch. Um, when we're having big fires, I take away all these clothes. Um, and this as well. And we make sure that there's nothing there. We just had a small fire this morning. So the, uh, the wood stove doesn't even get too, too hot. Um, 
There's our sleeping quarters. So we just have these cubbies. We got a cubby system for our clothes. So, I mean, my cubby's back here, Courtney's. We got a swimming cubby, Adia's, August Luca. Here's towels. Some more hooks here. We're just hanging lots of hooks. We got a little line here to hang stuff if we need to to dry. Laundry bag. More little cubbies for slippers and, and toques. We keep them in here all year round for the cold, cool mornings. Here's our sleeping quarters. We got the eagle's nest up here. And down here is the bear, the bear cave. Uh, or the bear's den. So um, Addy is over there by the penguin. She sleeps with her head there. Luca sleeps here with his head down here. Originally it was the boys down here. And Adia was actually in a... Uh, a playpen right here and so august sleeps up here um, and courtney and i sleep as well it's just a massive kind of sleeping pad uh, more hooks we love the windows back here the skylight here is nice too and here is a composting toilet oh, it's quite dusty in there right now from that window um we don't use this a ton if we don't have to but these are these aren't cheap. This is like three thousand dollar type toilet. And we won't go into much detail here, but obviously um, there's a handle here to spin the drum. We add it. Oh, you can hear the goods in there. There you go. <laughs> um, I know there's lots of YouTube channels out there talking about composting toilets and off grid living. Um, so this is pretty cool. This allows us to. Just have that luxury for the kids in the morning. Again, if there's outhouses at a campground, we use it. Uh, we use those. We put enzymes in there and a little spray, and that's the composting toilet. I barely fit. It is a pretty uh, small type closet. I can get in there and do my thing if I need to, but it's nice to go somewhere else too. Um, but yeah, a uh, little bit more storage here. A little step up here. These are kind of cool. This was uh, some stairs or like little steps. There's some, we don't even store much in here, but on longer trips we do. So we're able to open that up and have some cubbies and then there's some more storage back here. Um, yeah. And uh, I like these little lights. So we have these little reading lights up back here, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's one over here as well. And uh, that helps read and stuff for reading at night. Well, there it is. This is our bus. It's nothing fancy, but at the same time, it's pretty special to us. It's us. We've had a lot of great memories in this bus now. I think we've had this for, I mean, Addy is four and a half. I think we've had this for about five years. Um, and during COVID, we spent a lot of time in it. We hid from the world in the mountains and in the bush. It was quite amazing. I'll show you here. I mean, it's pretty dark, but this is our kind of utility closet. We do have a water pump. We keep some composting, uh, some of the mulch in there. And there was a water heat. There is a water heater in that wooden thing, uh, on-demand water heater, but it's broken. And we just boil water with our propane stove anyway. See up top here, we've got plates and bowls. And over here is usually cups, not too, too many right now. And uh, over here, we kind of have a pantry. We just carry some food, lots of food in our pantry. And down here, we got full cutting boards, pots, pans. We do pretty well eating and uh, toaster. We don't even use that very much, but we should. We got a blender too. <laughs> and uh, if our water pump breaks, it's nice, or if we ever have problems, it's nice to have a little bit of a backup and a way to carry some drinking water. And uh, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. If you're new here, we make outdoor adventure family content. And uh, this is our schoolie. I hope you enjoy the video. But more importantly, I hope you get outside and do an adventure of your own somewhere. Take care. Shakers